Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Josh Green, and this is Artist Errant Academy. Today, I've been far out at the Met Cloisters, the only museum in America dedicated to European medieval art. It houses a spectacular collection of the intricate and handmade. The work in the cloisters is craftsmanship at its finest, and many of the artworks there would be shining examples for any age. Walking through its halls, Carl Jung came to mind. I will now read a section of Man and His Symbols. A sense of a wider meaning to one's existence is what raises a man beyond mere getting and spending. If he lacks this sense, he is lost and miserable. Had St. Paul been convinced that he was nothing more than a wandering weaver of carpets, he certainly would not have been the man he was. His real and meaningful life lay in the inner certainty that he was the messenger of the Lord. One may accuse him of suffering from megalomania, but this opinion pales before the testimony of history and the judgment of subsequent generations. The myth that took possession of him made him something greater than a mere craftsman. More than a mere craftsman. Staring at these objects, hundreds of years old, I tried to imagine the mind of the artist creating them. In fact, the word artist wasn't invented yet. These were craftsmen. These were people who honed and trained and transcended their daily occupation and became messengers of the divine. These were people who found extreme meaning in their hands. They took ivory, stone, wood, fabric, pigments, and transformed them into messages of the divine. Every square centimeter of these objects is covered in stories, covered in symbols, archetypes, fantasies that have lived with man, that have inspired man, that have given man meaning for thousands of years. Such stories, such characters, such symbols can be found in every culture. The purity of this art, before there was a sense of art, took me away to new places. They had no need to study nature. They had no need to write theory. Every work of art was conceived in their mind. You can see it in the mishmash, pastiche of the crazy, hellish demons that breathe fire with 20 heads writhing under the feet of the knight in shining armor. I now contrast that with the art of today. The young art student in the university is asked to present 50 paintings in one semester. How can we make anything as great, as equal to what these medieval craftsmen made? Just to look at one of these books, the handwritten text, the ornamentation, the design, the layout could have easily been one entire lifetime. 